Hello, Mega Maniacs, and welcome back to the Retro Hunting Adventures. Today, I'm doing a video in two parts, and the first part will be filling up a retro swap box. For those of you not familiar with that, I belong to a Facebook group where every few months we do a box that circulates around the country. You take out as many items as you want as long as you replace them. General rule of thumb is up to half but you replace one for one anything you take out. And if you take out something and put in more than that, it's fine. If you take out one and put in three, that's fine as long as you can get the box sealed up, shut, and shipped to the next destination. And if you're the person who starts the swap box, when it comes around to you at the end, whatever's left is yours, even if it's your stuff originally that came back around full circle. Because at that point, you're not taking out half and sending half to somebody else. You are the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega. There's nobody else to send it to. So this time I'm trying starting the box and seeing what I get back at the end. Whether it'll be anywhere from a quarter to half my stuff still. Or whether it'll be mostly new stuff. And as you can see, I've started it out with some GameCube and Nintendo 64 games. I've had that extra copy of Hexen for a while and never felt like selling it on eBay, so it's a perfect candidate for the retro swap box. And what do I have next? Why, it's some loose Game Boy Advance games. Lizzie McGuire 2 and Lizzie McGuire 3. Strange thing is, I bought complete in-box copies of those games and that's how I ended up with the loose copies because I already had a couple loose to begin with. I just walked into a trade post one day and they had a crap ton of complete in box Game Boy Advance games and I pretty much took whatever they have that wasn't completely crushed. Side Pocket is another one that I had a duplicate of for a while, never got around to putting on eBay or selling or doing anything with. Same for this extra copy of NBA Live 95 which has a really weird black mark on the front like somebody used a sharpie to cover up the previous owner's name but that's the way i got it so i can't do anything about that here's a copy of crash bandicoot loose but at least it's in a case and i put a label on the side that says crash bandicoot one although that label is peeling up a little bit but yep just a loose copy of crash bandicoot and speaking of playstation games Here's an extra copy of Independence Day that I had. It's in decent shape. The case is a little scuffed up, but the disc is in good condition. I'll go ahead and show you here. It's got some thumbprints on it, but it works. You can just wipe those off with a regular microfiber cloth. So yeah, let's put this one in the retro swap box and see if somebody takes it. So far, I feel like I've added some pretty good stuff. What do we got next? Why, it's an empty clamshell case. You could put a Genesis game or a Sega Master System game. Probably Sega Master System, I believe that's what it was designed for. And we've also got a Game Genie. Find codes on the internet at segasages.com. Don't know if that website still works, but who cares? In the box it goes. And that's always the challenge when you put stuff in the box is making sure you find room for each and every item that goes in and still being able to seal it shut at the end. I'm including an Asteroids complete with instruction manual. I think that's a nice combo. Once again, got to rearrange the retro swap box and make some room for it. We'll put that one right there. I think I can put a few more of these in here. Defender with instruction manual, that's another good pair. A very good arcade conversion for Atari 2600. Star Raiders with instruction manual. I think that's a game where you really do need the instruction manual to help you play it, so that is a good inclusion. Let's, uh, I don't know that I need to put them in alphabetical order, but I'll do it anyway, so there. And uh, Star Master with instruction manual. Another one where I feel the manual is very helpful to actually playing the game. 
Again, I don't have to alphabetize it. It probably won't be once it gets jostled around in the postal, but we'll do it. Phil Ortiz, Winter in America. I'm going to throw some random CDs into the retro swap box because we don't just do games in the retro swap box. We do anything retro. Trading cards, action figures, music. Famously, in a previous retro swap box, a copy of John Tesh on cassette kept making the rounds over and over again, and it became a joke to write John Tesh rules in any edition of the Retro Swap Box, including on the Retro Swap Box itself. Nobody did it this time, but we could always do that in the future. I could go buy a cheap John Tesh cassette from Half Price Books or Trade Post or somewhere and throw it in the box and write something about John Tesh on it and keep that tradition alive. We'll see if anybody wants these CDs. I'm just picking out some CDs at random and adding them along with these Japanese snacks. Um, forget what they are. I think they're some sort of snap peas or pea-shaped candy, but they're going in the box. I don't even remember what they are, and hopefully somebody will enjoy them. If you're the person who got them, feel free to comment below. And break out a Macintosh CD-ROM game, box only. The box has been flattened. And a Monopoly box, also been flattened down, no longer in its original shape. I should be able to find a place for both of those. And we'll add some loose Atari games. Start with Circus Atari. I can find room for it. Mush everything down a little bit. Oh, yeah, I gotta move these games on top. So I guess they're probably no longer in alphabetical order. Oh well. Gotta change it, switch it, rearrange it just to make sure you can get it all in the box. And. Club O Fun from Limited Run. I get one of those with seemingly every shipment, so got one to spare. Maybe somebody will enjoy reading that. So tuck it in there nice and neat. And let's keep on adding to the box. It's not full yet. Got a PAL Super Famicom. It's not working, so... Whoever gets it can either use it for parts or, as I told my friend Paul, they can mount it on the wall like a trophy. Like, you know, I claimed this one. I bagged this one because it's not playable. Phil and I already looked at it from the inside. He took the screws off, put the traces under a microscope, and unless you're good at making new traces on a board, it's not going to work. Here's another CD, and this one is sealed. It says it's vintage. And here's Indiana Jones on microphones. I don't know if anybody's going to want that. We'll see. You never know what people decide to keep, decide to swap. It's always random. A Sears Telegames. Sometimes these are a little harder to find, so I think somebody will appreciate that. Lil Boosie. I don't know that most of the Retro Swap group is rap fan, but we'll give that one a shot. It's the clean version anyway, so maybe they'll like it even if they're not Boosie fans just because their kids can listen to it without a bunch of curse words. And now in part two, the Retro Swap box has made the rounds. It has come back to me and we're going to see who put what inside of it and what I should get excited about as... My cat Tingo looks on because he's like, what the heck are you doing, Human? What is this all about? Well, Tingo, it's a box full of old stuff. No kitty treats in here for you, I'm afraid. I'm sorry about that, but let's go ahead and get it unsealed and start going through the contents. What did I get back and what's new? Well, right away I can see something that's new. We got a Big book right on the top. A Hellboy book. Is it a manga? No, it looks like it's a 
compilation of stories by various authors. And I'm a fan of Hellboy, so this is really cool. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. 16 of the biggest names in weird literature pay tribute to Hellboy. Dang. That is a, that's a very awesome start to the Retro Swap Box. See, this is what I mean about how we don't just do retro video games. We do anything that's worth swapping. But here is another video game. It's Batman Arkham City for Xbox 360. And I'm pretty stoked about this because I already had Arkham Asylum, but not Arkham City. And this is very complete instruction manual and both discs and I believe these discs are in good condition if I remember correctly from filming this. Let me get the second one out. Yeah, the second one looks even better than the first, so I'm pretty sure these will both work in my 360. Whoever put that one in, props to you. And there's more Xbox games in here. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and I didn't have that one either, so... Once again, pretty stoked about that. Got a new Assassin's Creed game to play on my Xbox 360. So we are three for three in things that I've pulled out that are new. Make that four for four. Dante's Inferno. And this one, too, is complete. So already I'm feeling like a winner as the person who started and ended this box because I've got four things out of it that I didn't have that I wanted. Let's make that 5 for 5, Battlefield 5, for Xbox One as Tingo wanders to the back of the rec room, probably to get in the recliner. He's got a chair back there that's pretty much his own. Kill Switch for the original Xbox. That is another one that I didn't already have, so the hits just keep on coming here. No instruction manual in this one, but... That's all right. Sometimes things in the swap box come with manuals and sometimes they don't. We fill the box with whatever we want to trade. And if you got a spare copy of a game that doesn't have a manual and you have a copy of the game that does have the manual, you're probably going to put the one that doesn't have the manual into the swap box because you're trading. You're, you're getting the extras out and keeping the ones that you do have. And here's Call of Duty 3 Complete. I didn't have this game for PlayStation 2, so I just keep pulling out good stuff here. So far, I haven't gotten to any of my stuff. Nothing has come around full circle yet. Let's see what this one is. God of War 2. Didn't put that in the swap box, but I do already have this game. A very nice copy of it, though. Got... Both discs, the special features disc has actually been put on the top. Usually I put disc one on the top and the special features disc underneath. So I'll just go ahead and swap the order around myself. But yeah, it appears to be a very nice copy of God of War 2. And not the player's choice edition either. It's the regular edition of God of War 2. So somebody may really appreciate that in the future. Set that aside, and we'll keep digging to see what else is in the swap box. Yeah, had a feeling I was probably going to get the CDs back. So there's Rex and Effects. There's the He Got Game orchestral score. There's Bill Ortiz, Winner in America. Okay, I get the hint, guys. You weren't interested in the CDs. Maybe I'll just trade them in at Trade Post since nobody wanted these. But figured it was worth a shot to include them in the swap box and... See who wanted what. Got all the CDs back. Well, at least they had a nice journey around the country before they came back to me. They got to travel a little bit. What do we got next here? Spec Ops Stealth Patrol. Nice to see it included. I already have the game, but I do appreciate that somebody included a complete game manual in case in good condition. It's always a welcome sign. Let's see what I pull out next. Crash Bandicoot. I put that in the swap box. It's got the label I put on the side. 
Kings came back a little worse for wear, but that does tend to happen. Knockout Kings 2000. I already have this game complete. It's a loose disc, but again, it's nice to see it in there. It's not something I put in there. It didn't come full circle. Let's see what condition the disc is in. Not too shabby. All right. We can set that aside and keep on digging. Got another CD that I put in the box. Indiana Jones on microphones. And the one I said was vintage, which is still sealed. Nobody even opened it. Maybe that was just too much like Michael Cole for people. Vintage! Oh, wow. An unused pack of 90-minute cassettes. That takes me back in the day. I used to buy packs like this in college all the time when I made mixtapes. So I should hang on to these and see if one of my tape decks can still record a mixtape. Maybe I'll make a mixtape for somebody now that I have some blank cassettes. I haven't had any in a long time. And it's championship bowling. And I don't need it, but it's cool that somebody put it in there. Nice to see, although it's a little crushed up, but maybe it still works. What else do we got in here? Looks like we got another Nintendo game. Bandai Golf Challenge Pebble Beach. I have this game too, but it's not something that I put in there, so somebody swapped this in somewhere along the way. Let's keep on moving here. We've got some DS cases for Nintendo DS loose games, which I can definitely use because I always end up getting a few out of the swap box. Seems like there's always DS games that are loose. And that case. Although somebody put a Genesis game in the case, so I guess it was for Genesis or Master System. It's a copy of Menacer, which you need the light gun to play. And I've got a loose copy of that from the previous swap box. So, it is what it is. Started out with a lot of new stuff that I needed. And we kind of hit a dry patch here with stuff I already have. So, let's keep going. NBA Jam. I already have that. Although it is a very nice copy of it. Complete manual and cartridge, all in good condition. Definitely need to hang on to that one for a future trade. So we will set that to the side and keep going. I think I put Asteroids and Defender in there loose. I know I put Circus Atari in there loose. Uh, Star Master. I put that in there with the manual. Maybe somebody kept the manual and put the cartridge back in there. I don't remember putting in television games in there, so the snafu is new. Let's see. Oh, there's another. Locomotion Loose. With the red label, not the white label, so it's not the later run. And we've got some PSP cases that seem to be stuck together by a hinge. But I can always use cases for loose PSP games because you tend to get those out of swap boxes too when you belong to a swap box group. So, oh, we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie trading cards. They appear to have been taped together. So I'll have to unseal the tape at some point because somebody folded up a nine card sheet and taped it all the way around. But... That's cool. I didn't have any of these. Obviously, some kids dog-eared trading cards because they're not in mint condition, but hey, they kept them, so props to that. And we have Mech Warrior. I had Mech Warrior 3050. I don't have Mech Warrior, so this is new to me. I'm very stoked about that. NBA Live 95, on the other hand, is not new to me. It's got that Sharpie mark on the top that was on there when I put it in the box, so it's clearly the same copy. And Qbert, the card game. 
Okay, this kind of thing is right up my alley. I love card games or board games based on video games, and it looks like this one was never even played because the cards are still sealed in their packs. The box is a little worse for wear, but the cards are definitely all in there, so that is super cool. Gotta have a board game night and try playing that with some of my friends. WWF Royal Rumble for Genesis. Not one that I put into the swap box. It's a game I already have, but it's cool. It's obviously something somebody swapped in as it made the rounds. So, always love to see that. What else do we have in here? We've got Sonic Spinball Loose. Also a game I already have, but also something I didn't put in the box to begin with. So... Another swap in as the box made its way around the country. Let's keep on going here. What do we got? We've got trading cards. Sealed packs of Alien 3 trading cards. You know what? I'll have to do a separate stream for these. I'm not going to open them all during this retro swap unboxing, but I will definitely open the packs on a live stream in the future. And we'll find out what cards are inside of them. I like doing pack opening streams from time to time. Speaking of which, we've got Super Mario Brothers movie trading cards. Man, that one. I didn't know that was even a thing. That movie was such a flop that who would have made trading cards for it? But Skybox apparently did. And we've got some unopened packs and some cards that are loose. And apparently somebody cared for them. They're not dog-eared, so whoever got them did appreciate them, and so do I. I love pop culture ephemera like this. In fact, one of the stores I frequent is called Pop Culture, so yeah. And we've got a bunch of loose stuff in a plastic bag, starting with what appears to be a car adapter charger. It's a little hard to make out the logo because it's clear on white, but it's a Nintendo DS car adapter, so that is definitely something I didn't have. I don't think I ever charged or played a DS in the car. Certainly can't play it while driving, so that kind of defeats the purpose, right? But yeah, I will keep that. And we've got some loose games. Rec Room Games for Nintendo DS. This is why I said those cases for loose DS games come in handy if you get one in a swap box. And I didn't have Rec Room games, so I'm definitely happy about that. What do we got next? F-14 Tomcat for Game Boy Advance. Also something I didn't have. Now we're on a hot streak again. Let's see what's next. It's a Game Boy Advance game. I already have a loose copy of The Sweet Life with Tipton's Caper. So that's a duplicate, but that's okay. Let's keep going. What do we got next? Got some more stuff that's in a plastic bag. Screen protectors. Interesting design. I wonder if it's like something you peel off and then the screen protector is underneath that dotted whatever. Or if that's because of age. It's for a DSi XL either way. And let's keep on going here. What else do we have? More loose games. See if I need them. Life, Yahtzee, and Payday. A 3-in-1 Game Boy Advance game, and I didn't have this one. So I've got a new game to play on my Game Boy Advance. And then I'll put the ROM on an EverDrive and not have to get out the cartridge all the time, but I'll still have the physical cartridge. And we've got Super Scribble Knots for DS. It's another one that I didn't have, so... Now we're back on a pretty good run here. Juju Pets Loose. Oddly enough, from a previous swap box, I got Juju Pets 2 Loose. So I guess now I have them both. And wouldn't you know it, those Macintosh boxes came back full circle. Hexen didn't, though. Somebody took that and put Automobili Lamborghini in there. I already have that game, but nice to see a substitution there. And, as mentioned, 
There's those Macintosh boxes again. I guess I'll keep them now that they've come back full circle. Breakout and Monopoly. I got those from my friend Phil and thought maybe somebody else would appreciate them too, but I guess nobody collects Mac stuff. And there's that Club of Fun. Maybe somebody read it and put it back in. Maybe they just, nobody wanted it. Don't know, but we're getting close to the end of the swap box. Here's uh, what's left. We've got a Nintendo 3DS case for a loose game. Just one, just holds one game. And we've got, what is this? What? Oh, I guess it's, uh, it's dice. It's, it looks like dice from a specific game. It's not a role-playing game set per se, because there's no, you know, 12-sided or 20-sided or different D, you know, D whatevers. It's all just standard D6 dice, but these are they're really cool. I'll keep those. That's I like funky dice like that. I just feel like they're for a specific game, and I don't know which game. These look like adhesive thumb grips for analog sticks. I tend not to use stuff like that, but it's cool that somebody put it in there. And I think we are to the end. The only thing left is this little instruction manual insert. I don't know what this went with, but it's loose in the box. That's it for the Retro Swap Box. Thank you to everybody who participated. I hope you all enjoyed the stuff of mine you kept. I'm definitely going to enjoy the stuff that came back to me when it came full circle. Got a lot of Xbox games and loose DS games and Game Boy Advance games that I didn't have. A PlayStation 2 game I didn't have. Some trading cards, some Blank Audio Cassettes. A lot of good stuff in the Retro Swap Box this time. I'm Mr. Mega Man Fan. Thanks as always for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. All those things help the channel grow. And I'll do another Swap Box here in the near future. And we will keep this tradition going.